students to our new Montezuma Cortez High School. It's got a beautiful long courtyard for students to be able to hang out and kind of have some great outdoor space to, to uh, learn in and to also be uh, in, engaged in some fellowship. One of the nice things though is um, this is a security, this is uh, security through environmental design. There's a long walk to get from the um, uh, parking lot to get to our main doors. So we have a lot of eyes on the courtyard, which is, it's nice to know who's coming into our building and give us time to know if we need to uh, call in some support. Our school resource officer has his office right inside the doors, and we're really looking forward to having a safe and secure the marquee space in our new high school. It's got the highest end finishes, um, and it's really kind of a neat design because it has what everyone expects in the library and what everyone thinks the library is going to become. One half of the library is the old kind of stacks, books, place for people to read quietly and do research, and the new type part of the library, the other half is what you see behind me. This library is for a research library. It's a 21st century learning space. It's a place where you can have collaboration. There are a lot of uh, computer ports um, and uh, the ability for students to be able to look virtually uh, into the internet to find all the resources they need to learn. Some of the cool features of the library that are just starting to really pop um, um, you'll see, and this is throughout the school, you'll see these wood accents that are all over the building. That's um, recycled uh, beetle kill pine that got us um, additional lead credits, which is nice, but also adds a really nice high-end finish. One of the things is that we wanted to make sure we had here in the high school was connectivity for students so that they can bring their devices in and use them to help accelerate their learning. So we have a really robust Wi-Fi system throughout the school. It's actually enough so that um, we can support 1,800 devices, which is roughly um, three per person that's going to be existing in our high school. We have about 620 students here so we wanted to be able to have a, a network that could support a 21st century learning environment which is totally new for our high school we're really the, the cafe for our kids is more of a food court experience where they're gonna have three different options salad bar a typical school lunch and then an a la carte area as well the back of the house kitchen is all commercial ready to make lots of food in-house so that our kids are getting the most nutritious and delicious lunch possible in Cortez Ranch area is really exciting, I think, for our students. What um, we wanted to do is create a space that felt more like a food court than a typical high school cafeteria. Right now, our school district has a, a modified open campus, meaning that students can earn their way to get the right to go out um, in the community for lunch. But we wanted to create a space here that is so nice and welcoming that most of our students would choose to stay here on campus for lunch rather than going adding lots of furniture that have um, some height furniture, some banquettes, some low tables, some round, some oval, some square, um, so that the students, when they come here and eat, they feel like they're in kind of more of a restaurant, maybe a college food court feel, rather than the typical high school cafeteria where everyone's sitting at these long, boring tables. So we're excited about the way that we furnish these, and we think our students are really standing in the faculty lounge. We wanted to build a space for our teachers to come have lunch that felt special and felt uh, kind of nice for them to come eat as well. So behind me, you'll see the faculty lounge, and this is also the faculty lounge. We built a patio, and uh, this is gonna be a really nice, comfortable lawn furniture, patio furniture, that's all weather. And the faculty will eat out here, looking at one of the best views that we have. Our science labs, it was really nice because it's more than just a science lab. In the olden days, you would build a classroom that doubled as a lab, or a lab that doubled as a classroom. And what we have here is half of the room is set up like a classroom with typical um, desks and chairs with a teaching space. You see our new biology teacher in the front of the room. And the other half of the room is um, the laboratory space. So they can take notes and learn over here and then come over here and experience science. So it's really days, great. We had a, a family consumer science classroom that taught culinary arts, but really the, the classroom was designed to be a home ec classroom to teach homemakers, future homemakers, to be homemakers. Well, that's not what we do anymore in the 21st century. Now we're a career and tech ed program, so we're training people to go get jobs in the industry. What you see here is our new culinary arts classroom, and it's all high-end commercial grade equipment. So you see behind me, you see commercial ranges and grills. 
You also see commercial ba uh, baking. You see commercial mixers. This is what we want to do. We, uh, the vision is if a student goes through four years of our program, they are now qualified to get a job in a high-end restaurant serving as a sous chef under an executive chef. When we started designing the school, we went to our 2012 Colorado CTE Teacher of the Year, Lori Mott, and we said, what would a great EMT fire science classroom look like to you? And she said, I want an ambulance in my room. So to my knowledge, this is the only high school in America that has an ambulance built into the classroom so that Lori Mott has all of the tools she needs to prepare our kids to be EMTs and to go into the fire science. And we asked our teachers, what do you want in your classroom when we design the new building? They said two things. We want lots of room to write on the boards and we want lots of storage. So we had our architects design these custom casework in the back of every classroom that have six sliding whiteboards. So they have lots of room to write and behind them you'll see, wow, lots of uh, storage. Also storage down here, there's cubicles for them and things. So we hope that this meets the needs of our teachers and that we can keep these classrooms looking really nice because what we have in the classrooms is 21st century technology. So every classroom is equipped with one of these uh, projectors. It's not just a projector though, it's also a smart device that connects to the internet. A teacher can, by wearing their lanyard, you're going to have voice project, uh, projection in every classroom. You're also going to have the ability to record what's going on in the board and publish it to the website to get those critical pieces of teaching um, documented and also to give kids that are at home sick the ability to see what happened in class that day. This is going to be one of the most um, high, high use uh, features. When we went and looked at buying furniture for the school, we wanted to buy furniture that would let teachers kind of change the paradigm of what is typical in a high school classroom. It used to be that you'd have 30 kind of individual desks and that's kind of what high school always felt like is 30 row, or desks in rows, teacher up front teaching, kids sitting there watching the teacher teach. When we saw these desks, we were really excited because of the way you can use them to change instruction. First of all, Teachers love to use formative um, assessment, get real quick feedback whether the kids wanted it or not. Every one of these desks has a whiteboard attached to it, so if the student, uh, teacher wants to know if the student's got the material, student can write their answer, flash it up to the teacher, teachers can look across and see if all their students understood what they were trying to teach. Second thing we want to do is be able to um, allow for more collaborative learning. So these desks are all on casters, they move together, and now you've got a four top collaborative learning space so, so students can sit together, work together to solve problems. Teacher said, but now I've got my students sitting side by side. How, are they going to cheat on tests? You take the whiteboard, snap it into place, and now you've got two individuals. The thing we know about engaging learning is creating some um, friendly competition in class is a good thing. By having these tables, you can set these up so you can almost have a battleship type of experience where these students are collaborating on an answer versus these students, and then they can look over to see who's got the right answer. The shop is about 3,500 square foot. Um, one of the requirements today is the wood and the metal fuel. An oxyacetylene area here, this is an all manifold system for oxyacetylene. I tried to revamp a little bit to where I could handle eight students at a time. It's actually designed for four, but I'm not going to be in here. Arc welding will be back here. There's six boots back there. Uh, so, yeah, it's right there. It's pretty well taken care of a classroom that way because I, I can keep about 14 to 16 students out here. The booth behind me is probably one of a kind, especially in this area. Um, it's a totally enclosed unit with an overhead door on it, so you can pull a trailer in or pick up in or whatever to paint. It's totally controlled. One switch almost handles everything. You set your temperature, so it maintains a constant temperature um, during the painting process. Um, all ventilation and everything through there. So all the lighting and everything inside. State of the art paint. That's that's that's, one, that's something that's never been seen in this area. I'm sure. We're in our new main gym space. It's good for 1,200 spectators. Um, we're real excited about it. We've got great new sound systems, um, the beautiful graphics on the floors and on the bleachers, and we think that this is going to be a great gym for this community. For the Super excited for this weight facility. It's going to be the finest uh, free weights area that we have in Cortez. This auxiliary gym will be really great for our students. It's got high-end, um, resilient 
flooring, and we're gonna have five basketball hoops in here. This is where kids can come and have open gym during lunch and after school and before school. So we're really excited to have this great the Black Box time. Theater. The Black Box Theater is where Nick Sanderl teaches drama classes, also some English classes, but it's where we can do small group performance as well. It's all equipped with theatrical lighting, a curtain, the tables that the kids will learn at will be able to be stored in the closet, and we'll have these stage, uh, this stage placed down for a performance. So we're really excited to have a small group performance space. Another marquee space in the building is our auditorium. This is an absolutely amazing performance space. As you can see, we have um, great seating, wide rows for people to get in and out, 450 seats, state-of-the-art sound and lighting. This is going to be a real jewel for our community.